All right, so in this example, I want to see what hosts on my network are running things like RDP and remote desktop. So what I've done in discovery is I've come into my discovery setting. And if we come in here to discovery settings and we look at our Nmap test, I've set up an Nmap test that looks for remote access. So let's go out and take a quick look at what that test is looking for. So I'm going to come down here to remote access, I'm scanning the network, looking for any ports that are 3389 and 5900 that are open. So if I find these, when we come into discovery, what we're going to see is those devices are going to have a warning next to them. So up here at the top of the screen, I can see I have three devices. I have this desktop device that's 10.0.0.197. I've got 131 and 132. So if I look at 131 and 132, what I'm going to see is that those have VNC open on them. All right, well, those devices, I kind of expect VNC to be open. What I'm interested in is this desktop right here. Now, when I come in and take a look at my Nmap scan on that, I can see that that has port 3389 open, Microsoft Remote Desktop. So in this case, what I want to do is I want to locate that device. Now, one of the beauties with Discovery is it shows me where that device is connected. So right here, it's saying it's connected to the Studio AP. It tells me the SSID and the security. Now, that gets me in the general area. So what I'm going to do is I want to zoom in on that device. So I'm going to select the MAC address of that device. I'm going to come down here to my tools. I'm going to hit locate. Now, one of the issues that we run into with devices that are just sitting out there on the network is they're not transmitting very often. And if they're not transmitting, I have a hard time locating them. So what I want to do is I want this device to start talking. So what I'll do is I'll come back here to discovery. I'll go into tools and I'm going to go to ping and TCP. And I'm going to point my ping at that IP address, but I'm going to come into my settings and I'm going to say, I want you to send a ping every hundred milliseconds. I want 10 pings per second. That is going to get this device talking. So I'll hit OK. I'll come back. I'll go ahead and hit start. Now, ping is going to start running in the background. And if you notice on this screen, I am using the management port on the tester. This leaves my Wi-Fi port free for doing my location. So now I'm sending those pings. I'm going to come back. I'm going to go back into the MAC address of that device. I'm going to go to locate. And now we start seeing some signal, right? because we're sending those pings and we're getting some responses. Now I am using the external directional antenna. So now that I'm in the area close to where that's at, I'm going to start walking around. And what we see is that I'm, as I'm walking, my signal is getting stronger and stronger. So it keeps going up. We're walking along right here. And then we see it starts going down. So I'm going to move back again, and we're going to move back to where that signal was the strongest. So right in here is where that device is. Now I'm standing right next to a wall, so I'm going to go around that wall. I'm going to go into the room that's next door, and I'm going to walk along there. I'm going to go to that roughly that same spot where I saw that strong signal, and there we go. That's where that device is. So this is how we can go in and find devices that have things that are open, like RDP, we can locate those using Wi-Fi. And if they're a client that's not really talking much on the network, we can solicit some signal out of that to make it easier to locate. Hope you enjoyed this video. Keep an eye out for other videos on how we can use the NetAlly CyberScope to find devices that have open ports and locate those devices on the network.